everyone. Richard Carlton here. Welcome to another awesome day of FileMaker training. It's very exciting to be here. It is Wednesday. It's 1 o'clock where every day we do great live stream training on the FileMaker platform. We always bring in different people. We have different conversations about various different topics. It's always quite exciting. Why are we here? Because the FileMaker platform is awesome. It does a lot of really great things. In fact, it does pretty much most things pretty great. Um, like anything else, it has little snaggy points. We will point those out along the way. But at the end of the day, we're here. A lot of people are actually here because the platform does such great things. It is a huge uh, solution for helping small, medium, and large businesses solve critical problems. It, and people say, well, I'm not a business. I'm education. Okay, you're not a business. Just tell all those teacher unions that they don't need no money. Oh, wait a minute, they are a business. Never mind, FileMaker is good for you too. If you're a nonprofit and all you work on are hopes and, and, and well wishes and positive thoughts, then maybe FileMaker won't work for you because it does require a little bit of money. You do have to buy it, right? It's not totally free, right, Nick? Um, yep. And Nothing then, uh, so let's see, that's uh, government. Okay, government, I know government uses it. Business uses it. Nonprofits, unless they have zero money, will use FileMaker educational institutions because they are a business. Thank you very much. They use it. So pretty, pretty, pretty awesome. So uh, today is day three of what? What is day three of what? Let's check it out. So we're going to take Nick. We're going to hide Nick. We don't really like Nick. We need to make him go away briefly. So let's check up the upcoming broadcast schedule. Oh, you're still there, Nick. You're down the corner. Uh, so this is the upcoming broadcast schedule. Very exciting. So today is day three of three days. Moving along, the upcoming broadcast schedule for this week. Pretty exciting. So uh, Thursday and Friday, that's tomorrow and Friday at 1 o'clock this time slot. We're going to be having Jacob Taylor in here. He's going to be talking about FileMaker Server. Kind of open Q&A about FileMaker Server. We expect you to bring your questions. I want to tell you up front for the record, up front for the record, that, uh, that Ellen, the lobster, who I don't see her here. I'm wondering where she is at. So Ellen, the lobster, sent me a question about Active Directory. If you have really deep questions about Active Directory, that's the one area we're probably not going to be able to talk to you about. But if you want to talk about data API, PHP, that kind of stuff, we definitely can talk about that as long as well as all the issues of setting up and configuring your FileMaker server, right? Um, very cool. Um, and then, of course, we will probably remind everyone once again that you don't want really long PSOS or pimp sauce uh, or sassy scripts running on your server. That is a, probably an unnecessary risk. Kyle will be happy to tomorrow to remind us uh, about his per recent experience with that and to remind everyone that Richard was right. We're happy to re remind people of that because uh, when they go, when I tell them something, I say, don't drive drunk without a seatbelt on blindfolded, and they do it anyway. Then they crash, and they go, and they come in here, and they go, and, and Kyle comes in, literally, if you can see Kyle today, like bandages and casts, and he's all screwed up, and he's like, oh, I should have listened to Richard, right? So it's awesome. So pretty cool. Uh, reminder real quick, if you want to support the organization, the book is practically free. If you really want to support us, um, definitely check out our training. Uh, we are in the process of trying to shoot a couple uh, commercials about the FileMaker platform, and hopefully Megan can get that, uh, kind of start putting the pieces together. That will be awesome. Looking forward to seeing that. I do have to send her her microphone. I'll probably send it second day or something like that so she can have that. So anyway, but now would be a time to get some good B-roll. Welcome. Luca is there, right? Right on. So, uh, all right. So, Nick, are you prepared to go forward? Go forward. Are you ready? Are you stoked? I'm ready. Are you to pumped? Go. Are you totally? So where's the clap? Where's the clap? No clap today? Clap? Like this clap? The clap. Oh, oh, the clap. I'm sorry. No, no, no. It's called a marker. My name. Marker! Marker. All right, so everyone ready? <clears throat> I need to make myself a little bit bigger for this so we can do this. Right here, here we go. Here we go. Oh, there's my code red light, my asteroid game over there. All right, so here we go. So everyone, so Nick Hunter, day three. Day three, I have to scribble that on my take theme. Nick Hunter, day three, custom menus, trying to show everyone that they don't suck. Action. <laughs> okay, everybody. Uh, so um, welcome today to this uh, day number three under uh, custom menus. So uh, so the last two days, we explore how the custom menu works. And uh, so we uh, I try to tell you exactly how they behave, what the philosophy behind. Uh, I, I, tried, I didn't lie to you. I told you that many things were backwards. And unfortunately, we have to deal with it. 
but we learned that it's not that bad actually because you can do pretty good thing like uh, you know uh, sub menus in that sub menus and you can personalize the, the shortcut you can personalize the the, the title um, etc etc so but then now I'm going to to show you the advanced usage on this you know so um, yes what I'm going to show you it's uh, sometime a little bit over the top uh, if you lost don't worry it's normal <laughs> but I, I'll try not to lose you and uh, I'll try to because I think the two days before if if I if I had started the the webinar with this you will say okay what the hell is going on here okay but now for two days I explained to you many times the same thing um, and you should get the point here uh, now so I think I think you're going to get you're going to get it okay so let's start to share my screen right quick here um, where's my button here share screen and uh, so let's start with the uh, whatever UI UX v3 v2 whatever it's the same so let me remove this before the boss is yelling okay so um so whatever uh, UI UX v2 v3 is the same so um, here we have a quite advanced solution here, um, you know, and uh, and and, and I, as you can see, so I want to show you how it looks without the 200 billion buttons, you know, like columns of buttons and rows of buttons all over the place, you know, before between this design here and this one. Buttons, button, 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 button. Okay. So this is a difference between this one, where you know I have very few buttons, but very targeted button, the button you really need. Okay, uh, I'm not showing uh, you know buttons all over the place. Uh, when I still need buttons, they are there. You know, those are buttons, right? But they are uh, they are well organized. Okay, so um, so. Now, the custom menus, you cannot, so that's for, to answer the question, I mean, to answer what the problem, I don't, I don't remember who said that, I had a problem to gray out a menu. You can't gray out a menu. Um, I mean, you can, but you can't do the way, uh, I don't remember the name, uh, please, um, uh, you know, move forward, we'll, we'll recognize you. Um, who wants to gray out, if you want to gray out a menu, it's quite tricky, okay. It's quite okay. It's quite hairy, let's say. You know, it's uh, it's yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Okay. So let's see how our custom menu, an advanced custom menu, looks like. Okay. So here I have the standard Farmaker menu, uh, insert, and uh, the view menu. This is standard. You know, this is a uh, standard. Uh, it's okay. So it's an alternate version of the standard. Let's say. Okay. And then now I want something very, very, very personalized. So you can see here, I have nothing in common with Firemaker anymore. Okay. So, and I have things grayed out and I have things not grayed out. Okay. For example, here I have seen grayed out. Okay. Uh, and I'm not saying that I have seen disappearing when you get something to disappear from the menu appear disappear you are confusing the user actually that's why they came with this gray out state okay and that's since the beginning of the of the graphical user interface um, they discover very quickly that the disappearance of an item and the reappearance of an item uh, like by magic was uh, you know confusing for people uh, why is not there uh, anymore? You know, and of course, what you do, you miss an opportunity of giving information to the user, giving some clues about how the how your system is working. For example, he, if I have a clear selection menu, that means I can select something. You know what I mean? I, I mean, I'm giving the indication, I'm giving the information to the uh, to the users that I can do a selection. Okay, so I can do this, this, and this. In that case, the clear selection is not grayed out anymore. Okay, that means I can clear the selection. Clear. 
them. Okay, so, and I can have also a shortcut, right? I have a shortcut here, Command E for clearing. Because on FileMaker, Command E is pretty much deleting something. Uh, Command E, so you delete pretty much here what I'm doing. I cannot delete a contact from here, but I can delete the selection. Pretty much I'm clearing the selection with Command E. Okay, so now I can show uh, the selection. So I have here, our, you know, I have here the, uh, what's the name? The show selection only, right? So, uh, so I have pretty much um, a, a customized menu that tied exactly what I want the system to do, right? So, um, and, and this is what we want to do. Here, the same thing. I can say show all contacts. So in contact, in select, that's the that's selection, right? But I have a contact menu here where I can say, okay, oh, show me all contacts, boom. Uh, of course, now that I'm showing all contacts, the, co the show all contacts is grayed out, okay? So I can create a new contact, but I cannot duplicate, I cannot delete, I cannot delete all. And I, I, here I can't show all because, I, but if I say, if I do a search here, Okay, uh, now here I have, you know, show all, command G, com you know, command J, show all, right? So I have here a real menu, and you can tell, you can come to me and tell me whatever you want, okay? Whatever you want, you can come to me in front of me, I will say, okay, you know what? You will never win the argument. This is better than 200 billion buttons on the layout. You can come to whatever you can come with two super sexy bimbos if you want. I don't care. You won't convince me this is better than 200 billion buttons on the layout. Uh, and uh, because this is, a, this is what you used to have on 99.999999% of, of, of software in the planet, right? Uh, but yours. I mean, that's something you need to understand. When you don't use menu, you are the only production, the only piece of software in the in the, in, in this world, in the in the known universe. You will have, you will be the only piece of software not using menus. So you need to understand that you will be an alien. Okay. So and and people won't understand why you don't do that. Okay. And and you miss an opportunity. So I can sort. Look how this, okay, look, I know it's sorted by name. I know it's sorted by name, sorted by name. Let's say I want to sort by title, okay. Now it's sorted by title here, okay, sorted by title. So yeah, of course, so sort by title, and title is grayed out. Sort by department, you know. So I go there, accounting, you know. So if I go there, now sorted by department and department is grayed out. You can say, come to me in front of me right now and you tell me, okay, Nick, you know what? My button solution is better on the layout. I will say, no, you're not, you know? And so this is, the, this is why yesterday I didn't want to start the argument is that mandatory or not, okay? Uh, to me, if you, want to, if you want to sell, if you want to be called uh, top-notch quality developer, and you don't do this, you're not. Period. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, here, uh, uh, today, I'm going to be blunt. I'm going to be tell you the truth. Um, if you demonstrate something like that to your user, right, they would love it. Because guess one, command one, command two, sort it. You know, you change the sort order. Command three, you send the sort order. Command four. So if you need, if you need to have kind of a, if, if you need those options to happen, you know, you need a, a very quick uh, shortcuts, uh, you know, you, you need those kind of interaction. Uh, and, uh, and you can, if you have a, 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 a bunch of buttons on the layout, right, you miss the point. Of course, and that is the, and that is the, uh, and that is, yeah, our Cameron, yeah, I speed the bin, that's what we call. Uh, and, <laughs> and of course, yeah, you, you can have buttons if you want, you know, 
you can have buttons if you want. No, no problem. You know, it's it's okay. It's right. You know, but make them in an elegant way. Oh, okay. Selected, you know, selected only is command is option command T. Oh, clear selection is command E. Oh, got it. So now you add another connection. So now you have a better connection. You say, oh, clear the selection. So if I'm selecting this, I want to clear the selection. Oh, now I know I can do just this, right? Command E. So you see, and of course the button follows the same thing here. And I will show you that actually I'm using exactly the same calculation both on both environment. The same calculation that makes that grayed out, the buttons here grayed out, will be the same calculation I'm showing, I'm using here to grade out the thing here, the selection here, right? So, um, so we, yeah, I see that Agent Shavy has a question. Just a quick question. Custom menu is not relevant in WebRex solution, right? Yes and no. Uh, I can come back later on this if you want, Agent Shavy. Uh, yes and no, depending on the, on the WebRex solution and depending on if you use the, the 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 menu bar like they call it um you know not the status toolbar but the menu bar so custom menu can have an incident on go and web drag because something i showed yesterday but i'm going to show it again today okay um uh so i just love how snappy this app is even sorting and grouping yeah <laughs> yes it's it is and uh, this is a result of lean design uh techniques um, so, I, so I want to point out here to show you kind of a, a really cool uh, everyday application. Okay. So now, uh, as you can say here, I'm here. So we explore pretty much. You have a lot of things here, right? And you, we explore things. But now you, you, we have things that are grayed out here. And um, and uh, let's say, okay, let's create. You, you can create one. You can create a new contact here. Right, create, create here. Or you can just say, oh, create new contact. Okay, let's create a new contact. So now I'm, I'm in creating new contacts, right? And now, oh, okay. Uh, now, yeah, uh, I can uh, delete all. I can uh, revert, you know. Uh, actually, it should say revert, right? It should say revert record. It should say, um, <laughs> uh, it should say revert contacts right so blah, blah, blah. Uh, okay okay uh, so uh, revert contacts okay delete all so you can see now I have kind of a, a nice thing so I have the plus button here but, uh, so you 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 can see here so I have a plus button here okay uh, but I can do command and command and command and command and right so and of course command E you know Command E, or I can just say delete all, right? Delete all, bam. So now I have no contacts at all. So when I have no contacts here, you can see I have a, I have a new UI that gives you, okay, there's no contacts, so I'm hiding everything. And I give you the clue what you can do. You know, so, so you can do, you can create a new contact or cancel. So, okay, create a new contact, bam, come back. But you know, you got the point here. So we have uh, a, a, the same menu. So you saw that I didn't use, a, I don't use a different menu for both screen. I have the same menu here, right? This menu here is the same as the one I have when I'm here. Okay, it's the same menu, but I'm hiding and showing uh, uh, different things, okay? So now uh, let's explore a little bit this. Uh, because this is where things start to be a little bit, mm, yeah, okay? Uh, because the demonstration is always great, uh, but when we start digging, uh, we start seeing things that say, eh, okay. So here what happened. Okay. So you understand that uh, I have two versions of the same item, okay? Which is okay. Uh, this is a this is a way to do. Uh, I have two different type of um, uh, the same item, um, but 
uh, of course, the same item is going to display some time and not another. OK, so now I want to tell you the secrets, um, the little secrets. Um, secrets? They are the behind the curtain secrets. We, yesterday, we discovered that we, we link, we can link an item, a, you know, a, a menu item to a command, to an existing command. When you do this, you are inheriting the file name, the, the item name, the shortcuts, the action, but also the enabling status. That means you cannot have, if you use install when here, this, is, this will appear, disappear. It won't gray out. There's no gray out. There's no gray out when this calculation. We don't have this. And this is a mess. They could fix that very easily, but they don't. OK, so um, when you attach, let's say you want to grade out something. You know, I want to grade out something. And by the way, uh, I want the duplicate here, this duplicate here, I want it to be grayed out. OK? I want to be grayed out. I don't want the duplicate to be a, when I am in a create new uh, when I am when I am in the in the contact picker right in the contact picker that means when I am when I am here I don't want the duplicate to be available neither, neither the delete Neither the delete or, or, or neither the uh, neither the show all depending, but delete or delete contact duplicate contact. I don't want that to be ab available when I'm here. I want it to be available here. There now it's available. Okay. Okay. So now, how the hell I'm doing this? Uh, in this layout here, uh, if you use. If if I if I if I show the 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 the, the full menu the standard menu, uh, I have completely, totally, and absolutely deactivated the form view and the table view. Those things are deactivated. Uh, they they cannot show that here. You know, in this layout, this action, this menu action, which is view as table or view as form, whatever, uh, will never ever be enabled ever because it's deactivated, hard-coded in the layout. Okay. So knowing that, I can go to my menu and say, by the way, when the window name is contact speaker card, please base this action, base this item on the view as table. So that means uh, it will never, it will never be able to be, it will never be able to uh, to be uh, enabled because. I'm in that layout when where I'm using this menu in that layout this view as table thing will never be black it will be grayed out always because that deactivate the function so so now I can duplicate I can have my duplicate contact is it shows as a duplicate contact it has the shortcut of duplicate contact is it has absolutely no action personal action here right and is based on the view as table. See if, okay, demos, demonstration. Okay. I am in this layout. I don't remember the name of this layout. So which which layout I'm in here? Uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, it's the layout um, 593, 593A. Okay. In this layout, in this layout, I have, like I, 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 as I explained, I have deactivated the view. The view as table is deactivated, completely. So that means 
I will never be able to view that layout in in, tab in table view. Never. Now I activate this. Okay, I activate this, and look what happened. Now, now, if I use the menu contacts, uh, what's the name? Uh, hold on. If I use the menu here, contacts. Duplicate, delete, and delete all are now activated because I activate the view as view, view as table. If I deactivate the view as table as it was, uh, as it is intended to, okay, uh, and because I'm using this, could be anything. Uh, find something that is deactivated for sure. Uh, find I I, I love I love this one because I can I can control it, you know I can control it. I love this one because I can control it. And but if I go back here now, it's deactivated. And now, now that you, I gave you the secret, now you know what to do. Uh, it's uh, now I'm pretty sure. Uh, you know, this is where this. You know, this is what drives the installation. So let's say I deactivate this and I deactivate this. Okay. Like de I deactivate those two here. You know, I deactivate those two. Well, I shouldn't have done that, but. Uh, anyway, uh, you know what I mean. If you deactivate this, there will be t t you will have two versions. So one version does nothing. Is th this one actually do the thing? Actually, it's based on duplicate record. Uh, I override the item. The I override the behavior of duplicate contacts because I want the name to change in contacts. Okay, and uh, and and this one here. I actually I, I install it when so when this one is not showing this one show and when this one show this one's not okay um, makes makes sense okay and this one here is based on the view as table that means it will be deactivated um, and it will be grayed out uh, I change the name in duplicate contact because I want it to be shown as duplicate contact grayed out I want the the shortcut to display by the way. Uh, because I don't want to be like uh, something like uh, oh you have a, when it's grayed out you don't have the shortcut when it's gray when it's not grayed out you have the shortcut this is not a standard behavior okay but I know there's no action you know do do nothing just deactivate it just show it deactivated so pretty much everything is like this you know everything is like this so and you can do and you can put here an installation uh, more more uh, you know more what's the what's the name more elaborated. For example, uh, here I have my sub menu. You remember my sub menu? Uh, I show you yesterday how to do that. Uh, I have a sort by name sub menu, okay? And this is a sort by name menu that I'm, you know, this is my sort by name. So very simple. When it's not sorted by name, you don't put it, right? Active this this one is actually doing the thing, and this one is view as table deactivated. This one activated is do the thing, command one, do the thing. This one is view as table, no action. So if it's already sorted by name, this one, uh, you know, don't don't put it, don't put this one when it's already. Same by title, same for department, same for primary city, blah 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 blah. Uh, you, you you create one. And yeah, you have the secret sauce. Yeah, exactly. So now you know how to do that. Now you know how to. Yeah. By the way, by the way, it's not. Look, look, look. Now, yeah. Now that you know it, you can say, okay, uh, Clarice may be right. Now we know it. I mean, you know, uh, uh, you know, we know it, and uh, now we know it. We understand that super easy. You know, you 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 pick something that is already grayed out. You know, and that's it. So I love the show table because you can activate, deactivate it uh, as as will at will. You know what I mean? You you because sometimes people say, oh yeah, or you know, in that moment, at that at that moment, in that window, the import, uh, for example, import field, uh, insert from you know, insert uh, picture, for example. People will, people are using this. So after that, actually, you can use that trick. For example, you want you want. Okay. You know, show you the example. Um, you want um, when when a field is activated, right? You want a menu to be activated when the field is not. Okay, so you use this trick. Uh, insert is grayed out. Here is not. See, 
So you use, for example, okay, uh, current date, you know, and insert current date. So insert current date will be grayed out when the field is not activated and won't be grayed out when it's activated. So if you want a, a menu that show and hide, you use this, you know, yeah, that's it. It's very simple. So a little bit of, um, you know, of uh, jung jungling with the, with the good sense, right? With the common sense, you know, uh, you know, and uh, and logic. You said right. juggling, right? Not jungling. Ju jungling. Jungling. You know, we have a lot of jungle, jungle. You know, with no, the jungle, and... like a jungle with yeah. like lions and tigers and whatever. Yes. No, 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 no. Playing with a free ball in the air. Yeah, juggling, juggling, juggling. Juggling. Okay. juggling. juggling. I wasn't sure if we're jungling because yeah, juggling, juggling, juggling. Yeah, that's very different. Okay, got it. All right, we're good. You want the juggling? Okay, juggling. So, um. So pretty much, uh, you know. So you you have the secret ingredients now to to make your own uh, you your own very advanced custom menus here, um, because um, pretty much um, what what I'm what I'm the the only big trick that we, we use here is this is the um, you know is the what's the name um, uh, where 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 is my stuff here okay here. Uh, is this? It's how to um, you know uh, this. This is when you install the thing, and that is what what you do when you want to grade out the thing, right? Okay. So it's uh, and here, for example, I have another. Uh, that's another. That's another way here. For example, new contact, new contact. I have two new contacts. The, the create new contacts here, by the way, are activated here, right, and activated here. They are both activated. Wait a minute. But they don't do the same thing. So this is a this is a something I tell you to do. Uh, I, I, I you know that's my advice. If you want to do something like that, you duplicate this. Don't try, don't try to be smart or you know to play smart because you will make the thing complicated. The better is to have two con to create new contacts. One those. One when I am in the new contact call, that means when I am here, you know what I want to do? I just want to do the new contact. Like I, I just want this one. I want that to. I just want to be new record. That's what I want to do. There's nothing more. So why you want to do something crazy? No, you don't do something crazy. You have two items here, uh, side by side. One showing when the other one is not. So this one. When I am in a new counter card, I want just new record. That's it. You know, that's it. That what what I want. In this one, I want to be based on new record as well. You know, it's based on new record. Wait a minute. Okay. Yes, it's based on new record, but it won't trigger the new record command because I have an I have a custom I have an override action here, right? And the override action is I have my own scripts, right? I have my own script here. So I, you know, and my own script does multiple things. You know, I move, you know, so I move the, I move the window. Then I, you know, uh, because I resize the window. And then I, I go to a layout. Um, I go to the first. I'll meet, blah, blah. I'm doing stuff, okay? And I want to refresh the menu, which is I install the menu set again, okay? Uh, because I want to refresh the, I want the process to refresh the menu. So, so you see, when when I am here, uh, when I am here, if I do the debug here and I say new, nothing happened. Just you know, just uh, on record load uh, was the name a trigger. But when I'm here, when I'm here, and I trigger this, uh, there's many many things happening. So instead of having one action, instead of having a script that says, if script parameter is said this, so new record, if not, uh, do this. Instead of having this kind of, uh, you know, script, which is crazy, uh, I mean, complicated, uh, just have two, two menu, two menus item. And, and, and visually it's better and you, okay, question, does it rely on the install set scripts? No. The grayed out, uh, yeah, that hairy question. No, uh, uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> uh, 
That's a no, very it's, it's question. A question. Look, so, let's so should, try. should we get that question a shaver and shave some of the hair off, yeah. or what? What, what so, we'll do with that? Uh, so the answer is yes when you base your stuff on the variable. Okay, so it depends. Um, the answer would be uh, yes and no. Uh, yes, it, it depends on if you have a validation or not. Uh, when you create a variable, a global variable, you don't have a validation process. So when you don't have a validated pro process, you don't have a refresh kind of things. Uh, if we set a field, I'm pretty sure you don't need to install the menu. But you know what? Installation of the menu uh, costs absolutely nothing in terms of performance. So just put it. <laughs> this is, you know, <laughs> it's better to have it, not to have it. Uh, so each time I have something involved with menu, I don't, I don't even think about it. I install the menu. You know, um, that's it. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's that simple. Um, but it's true that it's like, look, it's like for many, many things. It's like for the. You know the hiding state. You know hiding state on the on the layout. Uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Depending on if you have a validation process or not. If you validate uh, like a field, or so, like you set field or something like that, yeah, it will. But if you base a hiding state based on the variable, for example, or a related record, something like that, it won't do. You you need to have a refresh. Question two: Does it really? Okay, it's not uh, slinging, slinging, slinging. Thirds, I promise. Okay, go trip. Okay, good trip. Okay, yeah. So uh, slinging, so to... slinging turds. He means throwing turds. Okay, throwing doo doo for that. Okay, for, doo -doo. For, okay. Don't, for yeah, for yeah. Greek and French people, yes, Greek throwing doo doo. <laughs> so um, so the uh, let's go back to the question. Um, um, I don't remember who said um, about her. Um, the graying uh, out. Group. That would be uh, that would be yeah. Ruben. That'd be Ruben. Yeah, yeah. Ru so Ruben's a troublemaker. Yeah, it's a troublemaker. So the the you have FileMaker Go and FileMaker WebDirect, both of them, are not using menu like we we intended we intended the menu, but they have what they call the you know what FileMaker call now uh, their uh, the menu bar. Okay, so um, and the menu bar is pretty much uh, this guy here, you know, um, status toolbar they called it. Okay, so the the menu will activate deactivate those items, so you can activate deactivate it. Um, let's say standard behavior on Pharmaca Go and Pharmaca Web Direct with the menu. So if you want to, for example, if you want, you know, the, you have the plus button, you know, the on go, you have a add record button, you know, and you want to deactivate that button, you need to use menus. Uh, you need to you need to have a custom menu, which which is also a, 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 a stuff from FireMaker from slash you know FireMaker slash uh, They you know they should have done something better, but you know they they want to use the economic way um, you know to do it so. Uh, they use a custom menu. So if you want to deactivate those buttons, which is are the same on Go, same on on WebDirect, what you need to do, you need to uh, you need to use the menu because you see here I deactivate this. If you go there now, they activate it, right? Uh, you cannot, you, you know what I mean. So it's uh, it's this is the menu will activate deactivate this. So yes, the custom menu will have incidents on WebDirect. So the question, the answer of the question is there. Okay. So uh, don't ask me which one. Okay. Uh, so do we have any question? This is a moment because I'm pretty much done here. Um, do you want to gray out? Was not me. Okay. <laughs> so no question. Do we have a question on Twitch and uh, whatever YouTube? And, yeah, and... Uh, I'm kind of looking. The moderators are helping me. See, I, I, I changed some minds, so it's That's okay. Good. I, I win my bet. There are uh, there are a couple questions here, so you got to go back. Yeah, yeah, and I, know, I know, I know. Don't worry, we won't, we won't, we won't miss a question. Uh, I have them here, so I changed some minds, and 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 that was a point. So okay, I, because I deciphered. No, you know what? I showed the the okay. I showed the exciting part of it, which is the sub menu and the grayed out thing. Okay, uh, and that makes the thing more appealing. 
because now people will say, okay, and they will brag of it. You know, I'm sure in this planet, after she seeing this show, I'm sure I have, we have developers that will go to the customer and say, and they will brag about this. Oh, look the menu I have now. Ho, ho, ho. You know, I'm pretty sure. Don't hide. I know. So uh, you, you know what? Because I did it when I figured out how to put stuff works. So uh, okay, is there a way to manage the toolbar button for user install? How? Yeah, but of course. Uh, you know, you have a custom menu uh, per. You know, you have a script uh, at the beginning. Say, okay, if the if the privilege set equal this, you have this menu. That means you hide. If the previous set is not this, you have another. You know, you install an, you install another menu and it's not hiding. Uh, you can hide the new, not hide the delete. You can hide the delete, not hide the new. Yeah, you can do that. Uh, uh, question two, uh, UK lad Simon, can you show your sort by name calculation? Ha ha ha! That's super easy. You ask me this question. Okay, I'm showing you this. Um, this is super easy. Um, Actually, I'm using what I already have. I have, I have here. What to do this? To do this UI here, I use a global field. Uh, you know, so uh, I have here a global field. You know, I'm setting a global field. You know, so um, I sort the field, uh, the global field with the sort key. Okay, so so a title name. You know, this is name department. This is the button. So I have a global field. So now, since I'm using this for I'm using this for the button here, I just reuse the same kind of a foundation um, to do my sort thing. Uh, and uh, and the name here, um, uh, yeah, you you want the name here? Uh, where is the name here? Yeah, here. Where 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 I put the name? Um, hold on here okay so um sort by department okay so where is the sort by department okay, sorry 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 see i found it, found it, found it, found it. i was looking here which is uh, no here i override the title sorry for the confusion i was uh, i was looking at the wrong see uh, even me i'm just okay i understand the problem with this you are you know because even me i got confused here okay so uh but anyway uh here, what I'm what I'm doing, sorted by and the label. I, 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 you know, um, so if it's unsorted, uh, I empty everything, um, and uh, so the label here is. So I have unsorted. If if it's unsorted, I put unsorted. Otherwise, I put the name of the field. That the, that whatever in the global sort key list. So it's uh, it's here. I'm putting in the title here in the title i'm putting sorted by par and parentheses and the label which whatever here because what i wanted to do here is this um if it's unsorted i want the thing to say unsorted and if i sort it i want the thing to say by whatever okay title so it is in the name of the menu that's why i call i, I got uh you know uh, confused uh, it is in the name of the menu here. I override the, uh, the title of the menu. Okay, so um, and uh, and uh, here it's easy because, because I have the field. So I, I take the field. Here I'm I'm getting is it is it uh, is it unsorted or not? Because if this is if this is empty, that means it's unsorted. Okay. Um, so if the field is empty, that means it's unsorted. And here I have the calculation. So if isn't sorted, okay, put unsorted the text. Otherwise, put whatever in the field in the field uh, global. And then you you create this uh, kind of a concatenated uh, kind of a string here. Um, and uh, it's very simple actually because I, everything was there. As I said, you know, I have this, I have the button here, and I have the script. I have everything doing that for me. Otherwise, other question. If I had a script to your menu that overrides an item on the toolbar, those clicking on the toolbar item run the script. No. Oh, uh, oh, 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 o
Okay, I, I know what you mean. Uh, you know what? Uh, I want to try this um, to be sure that you, I'm you've not got saying, time. Because, Keep going. That's fine. Yeah, because I, I never do it. Uh, to be honest with you, I never do. So let's do. Okay, let's go admin, and I want the delete button to have something. Uh, I want the new contact to be something. Okay. So let's go to man. Let's go. Let's let's put the scripts uh, and call it. Uh, oh. Let's put a script and call it, I don't know, uh, you know, a new record. Okay. Uh, and in the new record, I want to, I want the thing to say, uh, show dialogue. Um, hello. Okay. So I have a new, di I have a dialogue here. Okay. So I'm going to, um, I normally should do it uh, because I, they tie together, right? So I based my because I based on the the action. So let's try. Uh, it's a good. It's a good. Uh, it's a good thing. It's a good uh, thing to do. Um, and I don't want to say something I don't know. So, um, but I can demonstrate it. So we said new contact. Okay. We want. To, it's based on new record, right? It's based on new record. But we want to. We want to hijack this, and put my new record kind of for action here. Right? So I am not doing the menu here i'm going to put to click here bam yeah he's doing it so the new the button here on the status rule bar if you if you tie if you tie so uh, by the way good very good question cameron um i like it uh when everybody learns something even including me um because i never used that to status toolbar so that's why so um so when you and i'm pretty sure if you have a um uh two two items like that that use based on the new record uh is the first comes first serve kind of uh, and we'll do that but if you have if you base on the new record okay and you have an uh an override and you override the action it's uh, the button on the status toolbar will run the script yeah good question great great good job uh, oh, I hate how this has been done, but I love keyboard shortcut. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yes, yes, yes. Everybody wants it. Uh, clarifications to of my question. Can you customize the toolbar like right clicking on the toolbar via is? Oh, no, <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, this. OK. Clarification here. Clarification here. This is um computer based client computer based uh can offer a uh, feature and even though it's computer based and user based uh session based let's say okay that means if if i go to broadcast here i'm in nick under but if i go to broadcast and i, I open farmic again i will get another toolbar and this is on this is customizable locally on the machine and it's not scriptable, which is also something they should have done, right? Um, and uh, they should have done, and uh, but they, they, they didn't, right? So no, the, uh, to the clarification here, no, you cannot. But anyway, I understand. I understood your question in a different way, and uh, uh, we learned something, so it's good. Um, so uh, item name option change the status bar icon. Yes. David, okay, so that's what I I show you that. Can, yesterday. can you repeat the question? You need to repeat the question. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Sorry. Um, uh, item name in 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 the bar here. This the item name change, um, uh, change option change the status bar icon name. You know, so you can okay. But wait a second. You have a downside on this. And here the downside. Here. I'm showing all those buttons, you know. I know because I was involved at Farmica. I was involved with the, what's the name? Uh, I was involved with the uh, localization, and it was a nightmare, a nightmare for Farmaker, uh, for the people over there, and myself included, because I built the starter solution, and it was a, it was a, it was a very, 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 very big nightmare. So, um, here's the deal. So here I'm showing show all new contact, delete contacts. So now I'm doing this. 
uh, I go here and I say new contact from the awesome Nick okay and I put that title uh, and uh, and I've already did this so now bam <laughs> Okay, show all is gone. Uh, delete is gone. And now you need to stretch your window like this to get back. <laughs> right. So that's the downside on this. Okay. Uh, so uh, the, the item will disappear. And then you can have your customer, uh, uh, since last time, now I cannot delete my work and delete my stuff. Uh, uh. Okay. Oh, yeah. So you got the point. Um, if you want to avoid the, 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 the you know the Sunday night uh, phone call, uh, you need to you need to make be careful on this. Uh, so that's the downside on this is the, the the name. You know, if you put if you if you do something like this, if you have very long name like this, or or, or even longer name, if this one longer, this one longer, this one longer, uh, you can get screwed. Um, uh, could be new get layout name, yeah. Why? Why Leia? Oh, you mean no? Why? Uh, David Angel said could be new get layout name. Yeah, but uh, of course. But why you want to to create a layout name? You cannot create a layout here. Uh, you yeah, you can put whatever you want. Uh, so look, 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 look. look. Um, uh, admin. Uh, uh, what's name? Yeah, Kyle um, pointed out that the layout name is going to be potentially long. Yeah, but it's okay. We, I understand what what you know what it wants to you know. But here, for example, I have the custom you know custom menu uh, logged in new you know it's new Nick's contacts in new con Nick's contact here right because remember in this layout we put here we put uh, we 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 put the Nick kind of guy here. Um, so yeah, it can be it can be anything. Yeah, so uh, anything else? Uh, I think we're good for landing the plane. Yep, yep, yep. We're going to land the plane. So the upcoming broadcast schedule. So Christian Olson, you guys know Christian Olson. I don't even know if he's here today. So he was brought up an interesting topic for an upcoming live stream, and I and I kind of realized that we were going to kind of cover this. So Nick, you're still on the screen, just kind of down here a little bit, kind of at the bottom. So um, and now what we have is we have this painting yourself into a corner day one and day two. And the idea with the painting yourself into a corner is when either by accident or almost on purpose, you have built a solution. It doesn't, we're talking about FileMaker, but you could do this with anything, right? You could, um, you know, it's it's kind of like that old, uh, the old story. I, 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 I'm happy to pay you Tuesday for a hamburger today. It was Wimpy and, and Popeye and that whole thing in the cartoons years ago. For those of you who don't even know what that is, Megan, never mind. Uh, but there used to be this character who would always say, I'd happy, happily pay you Tuesday for a hamburger today or next week or whatever it was, right? That guy. And so on Discord. So the rub is that... Um, the road to hell is paved with good intentions or it's paved with people who need to not be belligerent, right? And and so um, Christian was pointing out that, that, that we've run into situations where uh, we have customers who paint themselves. We tell them not to paint themselves into a corner. And um, one of the things they do, tend to do is they tend to build a FileMaker solution and they build it as a flat file, right? It's like if you went to... Any, 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 or listen, relational databases are, were invented, I think in the 60s. I think it was, and it's kind of an interesting idea, but it's the way computers think. And, and really, it's a logical process for thinking. It's like Anchor Buoy is a logical process for organizing your connections in a database with a screen of information. So, relational database idea that you have people and, and, you know, events and different elements and items and parts and kits and cars and all this sort of stuff. And one of the things that you get into is people start in building a FileMaker solution and they build it um, kind of as a flat file. So it's kind of an interesting conversation. So I think we're going to try to uh, top that one too, Nick. We've run into every, almost everyone who's been a consultant for any period of time has run into even maybe their first FileMaker solution. You build it and you just build it in one table. And if you need a field, you build it in the table. And you need a field and you build it in the table. And one of the one of the biggest ways of painting yourself into a corner is the whole issue of reporting. Now Nick has got we've started to book Nick into reporting. So in about three weeks, Nick is going to pick up the uh, reporting conversation. Um, but it's, you know, we're going to start with a couple days and move from there. But if you want to have reports that are meaningful, 
then you have to organize the data the correct way. If you don't want, if you don't do that, you won't have re meaningful reports. They won't display the way you want. And so I've got a, I, apparently I guess I have a customer, I don't know who this is yet, but a customer who insists that my staff are stupid because we can't make the reports come out of a flat file system because we're not sufficiently talented. And I was like, okay, that's awesome. So um, I'm not sure who that is or why it is or how it is, but I have to go investigate this. But but building yourself into a corner, I had, I've, I've actually personally ran into a guy who did this and a while back and um, he uh, was doing vending machines or something like that. And he had a uh, vending machine that he would, he would, he would, he was a vending machine person, like, like for Diet Cokes and stuff or whatever it was. It was uh, water, or whatever it happened to be. But they had different, vi different customers would buy his vending machines or they would lease them. And so they would go on to like a campus, like at Apple or Cisco or someplace where they have multiple buildings. And so he had to put the vending machines in at that customer in multiple buildings on different floors of the building. He put that in one file, in one table, one table, not file, one table. And so you had different floors, the building and all this sort of stuff. And so then if he had to come up, it's like, show me all the <laughs> vending machines, show me all the vending machines for that company or show me all the vending machines for that building or show me all the vending machines uh, at that, f on, uh, at that, site location that are going to expire and need to be serviced no way of reporting that and he got really mad and i'm like well i'm telling you how to do this correctly but i guess you run into people who who refuse to i mean i drive fast faster than the speed limit frequently because i'm in a hurry and i'm willing to pay the consequences if i get caught some people just drive fast because they don't they fundamentally believe that the rules don't apply to them right and so i guess part of this painting yourself in the corner is a conversation about that a little bit so that should be good so anyway um <laughs> megan says she can't afford to drive that fast partly because green hair is going to attract all the cops to look at you and they're going to want to know why you're why the green hair is in such a big hurry so Nick, any uh, questions about anything uh, else here? But, yeah, next week is painting yourself in the corner. Nick will be here to kind of guide us through that. Kind of, it's kind of a more of an open-ended conversation, kind of a mindset about uh, about data organization. You know, saying we build a custom application is one thing, but at the end of the day, you can call it whatever you want, but a FileMaker solution, a business solution, probably in most situations has some sort of data in it, probably should be organized in a correct me uh, method. Um, there are many... There are many correct ways of organizing data, uh, more than one right way of doing it. There are also many more than more than one wrong way of doing it. And our job is to probably <laughs> probably to outline that. Does that make sense? Yeah. So yeah, yeah. So. It makes a, a, something we can we can say about this is that uh, we can give you the method we are using to take the decision. Uh, instead of uh, explaining you what to do, uh, we can tell you how to think. And then you make your own decision based on those. Right. right. Well, we had a, uh, the reason this came up was we got a couple kind of people who we explained it to them and they went like this, right? And and so that means something in <laughs> in the United States. And so as a result of this, then we said, okay, fine, go handle it yourself. And then they come back and go, well, you guys suck because now the reports don't work. I said, well, we told you how to do it correctly, so you wouldn't have problems. So yeah. So partly it's once again listening to people who know something. Yeah, and you know some something. Uh, uh, that's a gr that's a great thing because it's happened to me recently. Oh, good. Well, then you're um, perfect. Then you could come talk about painting your to a corner, right? Yeah. Although your yeah, although your situation was people who refuse to hire a, a quality developer, they keep going out to hiring in, uh, Indian companies, <laughs> and then they yeah. wonder why uh, it, there's this like loss of translation in the conversation. So, and, yeah. and there's some you know something that I'm doing often here, um, and I. You know, I have a customer like this. Uh, uh, we do coaching, but we don't do coaching on on you know building thing on coding. We do coaching. Okay, what we should do? Uh, what's your opinion? How we should handle this? Uh, how we should uh, how we should organize this? Multiple table, one table, multiple you know layer. Uh, you know, so I I I, I help them to take the right decision. So sometimes that can be helpful too. There's something we offer at RCC, this kind of consultation where say, okay, how we should build this, right? Kind of like a concrete engineer, right? Uh, when you want to build a building, uh, it's specialized on something very specific uh, and that can help you. It's not going to build things for you, but it's going to tell you exactly what you should do for the for the kind of building you want to you want to you want to create, right? Uh, because the the reason that it happened to me and it's very interesting is that 
somebody didn't want to listen to me. Okay. okay. So, uh, and because they say, yeah, but your way is more expensive and, uh, and we don't, and we don't need to this kind of sophistication and say, okay, you know, you will see down the road and a year and a half later and okay, Nick, uh, how we can rebuild this stuff? I say, okay, you know what? Uh, don't rebuild it because I told you to not to do it that way. And, uh, so it's 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 sometimes it's annoying even for for us and frustrating for us because you know uh we, pretty much we don't want to fix something we didn't we didn't want the guy to build in the first place right yeah, it's, it's uh, kind of it's, funny um, yeah so so part of this was going to be it started off as as kind of an interesting topic and then then we got kind of like the belligerent customer component to it so that should be fun too so all right so next week will be a little bit of therapy for nick on tuesday and wednesday probably for christian as well so that'll be fun um, that'll be awesome. Cool. All right. Whoop. Uh, that's it for now. Tomorrow, back to FileMaker Server. Welcome, everyone, for that. Bring your FileMaker Server questions as long as it's not really deep on Active Directory. Ellen, thank you very much for that. Right? So I forward that to Jacob. He's probably going to choke. We just don't do a ton of that. So that's it for today. We'll catch you tomorrow. Thanks. Bye-bye. More importantly, great job up front protecting this quarterback to give you a chance. And that's all you can ask for. Trying to rally down 10. 925 to go here in the fourth. Short motion by Amendola from the left. Brady takes the shot to snap. Stands in, throws it left for Amendola. Reaches up and snaps a high throw and lands inside the 10. Rolling to the 9. Ball slightly behind him, but Danny makes the grab.